Did you know that Tesla's Model Y 2025 comes with an incredible new feature? They're using a new battery called the M3P, manufactured by CATL, which started being supplied to Tesla back in 2022. The most interesting part is that this battery has given the car a major range upgrade, improving it by about 10%. And we're not talking about just any improvement. A 10% increase may sound small, but in practice, it means you can travel much farther without worrying about stopping to recharge. Now, with the 2025 Model Y Juniper, this battery is ready to deliver even more impressive results, both in range and performance. What makes the M3P so special? Well, this battery is an evolution of the LFB, lithium iron phosphate batteries, but with a little extra touch of technology. It can store more energy in less space, which is great for an electric car like the Model Y, which needs a battery that's both powerful and efficient. Plus, this 10% improvement in range isn't just a nice number on paper. It translates to a more practical and comfortable driving experience, especially for those who take long trips or rely on the car for daily use. On the other hand, Tesla has been working on another battery that's been grabbing a lot of attention, the famous 4680. It's been talked about for a while, but Tesla is always refining the formula. This battery not only has a higher energy density, but its structure is completely different. The second generation of the 4680, for example, can reach 280 WH-KG. Compared to the M3P, that's a massive leap forward. It means that, with the same weight, the 4680 battery can store much more energy. It's like each cell is more efficient, giving you more for less. What's interesting about this is that the M3P might be a more strategic choice for certain models, like the Model Y. It's efficient, affordable, and still provides a considerable range boost. But the 4680 is clearly the future of Tesla when it comes to battery technology. These batteries are being developed with the goal of pushing vehicle performance even further not just in terms of range, but also in charging speed and durability. For those who love technology, following this evolution is fascinating because with every new version, it feels like Tesla is getting closer to the perfect electric car. The most curious thing is how these batteries are designed so differently. The M3P, for example, uses a mix of materials that optimizes energy density without compromising stability. Meanwhile, the 4680 bets on a larger cylindrical design, which allows it to store more energy in less space. Additionally, the 4680 has an internal structure that helps it cool down more quickly, which is essential for maintaining high performance, even under extreme conditions. This can make a huge difference when we think about high performance cars or more severe usage conditions. Cost is also a big part of this equation. The M3P is cheaper to produce, which could help Tesla keep the prices of their cars at a more accessible level for the average consumer. On the other hand, the 4680, while more expensive, has the potential to become cheaper as the technology evolves and mass production becomes more efficient. Tesla is already investing heavily in factories dedicated to these batteries, and the expectation is that in a few years, the cost per kilowatt hour of the 4680 will be much lower than it is today. It's interesting to think about how this could completely change the electric vehicle market. Looking to the future, it seems like the 4680 is going to dominate the scene, especially since it promises to not only improve energy efficiency, but also reduce the weight of cars. That might seem like a small detail, but less weight means better performance and lower energy consumption, which in turn improves the vehicle's range. It's a virtuous cycle. Meanwhile, the M3P, with its balance between cost and performance, could continue to be a solid option for more affordable models or even for markets where price is a decisive factor. One thing that always sparks debate among Tesla followers is, Will the 4680 completely replace the M3P in the future? 
Or will the two technologies coexist, each with its own audience and specific application? The truth is that Tesla has shown itself to be quite flexible in its battery strategy. They don't seem to be in a hurry to abandon one technology for another, but rather to create options that meet different needs. That's interesting because it's not just about selling more cars, but about offering solutions that make sense for each type of driver. Another point worth mentioning is sustainability. Since the M3P is based on LFP technology, it uses fewer rare and expensive materials such as cobalt. This makes it a more sustainable option in terms of production. On the other hand, the 4680, despite being more advanced in many aspects, still depends on more complex materials, which could be a challenge in the future, especially if global demand for electric cars continues to grow at this rapid pace. Will Tesla be able to balance the equation between efficiency and sustainability? When we talk about electric car batteries, their lifespan is a decisive factor, right? Imagine you buy a Tesla and want to know how long the battery will last before it starts losing efficiency. The M3P batteries, for example, can reach between 2,000 and 3,000 charge cycles. In practice, this means you can drive up to 1 million kilometers before worrying about replacing it. This is quite impressive, especially considering that most people are unlikely to drive that far with the same car. So, it's almost like the battery has a lifespan long enough to outlast the car itself. Now, Tesla's 4680 is a bit more ambitious in this regard. Under ideal conditions, it can reach up to 4,000 charge cycles, which translates to an incredible 1.6 million kilometers. Just thinking about that makes it clear that Tesla is aiming for something beyond the ordinary. With this battery, you could practically drive around the world without worrying about battery wear. And that's only considering you're driving in perfect conditions, which of course, isn't the case for most of us. But even in less than ideal conditions, the number of cycles is still impressive. What's intriguing is that these batteries, despite their different capacities, show a clear evolution in technology. The M3P, with its 2,000 to 3,000 cycles, was already considered a major breakthrough when launched, especially for its durability and efficiency. But Tesla, always thinking ahead, didn't stop there. With the 4680, they're trying to create a solution that lasts much longer, which makes perfect sense if the goal is electric cars that almost never need a battery replacement. Not to mention that with more life cycles, the battery becomes an even more sustainable option as it reduces the need for frequent recycling and replacement. Thinking long-term, this durability difference could be a key factor for those looking to invest in an electric car for more intense use, like rideshare drivers or people who regularly drive long distances. After all, the 4680 seems more suited for those who want to maximize the car's potential while the M3P offers a generous lifespan for daily use by those who don't need to drive as much. Either way, both are incredible solutions compared to what we had in the electric vehicle market just a few years ago. One cool thing to note is how Tesla not only improves battery life, but also thinks about how to increase the efficiency of each charge cycle. This means that even over time, these batteries can still deliver good performance. Of course, like any battery, they'll gradually lose some capacity, but this performance drop happens so slowly that most drivers probably won't even notice it in daily use. And that's a huge advantage, especially compared to older batteries that lost performance much more quickly. It's important to remember that battery lifespan doesn't just refer to how many times you can charge and discharge it, but also to the performance it provides over those cycles. The 4680, for instance, was designed to maintain higher energy efficiency for longer, meaning it can sustain high performance even in tougher conditions. Whether in extreme cold or very hot climates, this battery is made to last and perform well. The M3P, while it has excellent lifespan, may not have the same resilience in such adverse conditions. 
An interesting tidbit is how Tesla manages the thermal control of these batteries. The more charge cycles a battery can endure, the more important it is to keep it efficiently cooled. In the case of the 4680, Tesla's advanced cooling technology helps maximize battery life, ensuring it doesn't overheat during intense use. The M3P also has an effective cooling system, but since it has a lower energy density, its thermal demands aren't as extreme as those of the 4680. In the end, this thermal management makes a huge difference in durability. The choice between an M3P and a 4680 might seem like a technical detail, but in practice, it's a decision that greatly impacts the electric car experience. If you plan to keep the car for many years, the 4680 might be the best option. But if the focus is on initial savings, the M3P still offers impressive durability. And considering Tesla is always innovating, the question remains, Will these batteries last even longer in the future? Have you ever stopped to think about how the weight of an electric car can directly influence its efficiency? In the case of the Model Y Juniper, Tesla is always looking for ways to make the car lighter and therefore more efficient. The introduction of the M3P battery promises to reduce the vehicle's total weight by about 10%, which is a significant change. Less weight means the car will require less energy to move, resulting in a direct improvement in range. In other words, you'll be able to drive more kilometers on a single charge, and who wouldn't want that? It's like the car is getting smarter, making better use of the available energy. What's even more interesting about this weight reduction is that it doesn't compromise the battery's capacity. The M3P is lighter, yes, but still delivers excellent performance. The impact of this on the Model Y Juniper is precisely this combination of lightness and efficiency. Compared to other electric cars, this slight drop in weight may seem subtle, but when we consider the sum of factors, lower energy consumption and greater range, the benefit is clear. It's like swapping out a heavy backpack for a lighter one without losing anything inside. Now, when we look at the 4680, the story is a bit different. While this battery offers several advantages, such as higher energy density and a more solid structure, it doesn't provide the same weight reduction as the M3P. Why is that? Well, the 4680 has a more robust design, made to be an integral part of the vehicle structure. This means it contributes more to the car's rigidity, but doesn't have the same impact on the weight. So, if the goal is to have a lighter car with slightly better range, the M3P seems like the more advantageous choice in this sense. But don't think the 4680 is falling behind. Even though it's not as light as the M3P, it compensates in other areas, like the stability it brings to the car's overall design. This battery is designed to integrate into the Model Y structure, increasing resistance without adding significant extra weight. It's like the battery becomes part of the car's skeleton, offering greater rigidity and thus more safety in certain conditions. So, while the M3P focuses on lightness, the 4680 is more concerned with improving the vehicle structure. It's fascinating how Tesla manages to strike a balance between these different battery technologies. On one hand, you have the M3P, which is ideal for those who prioritize lightness and energy efficiency. On the other hand, the 4680 is for those who want a more solid car, with a structure that inspires more confidence, especially on long trips or more challenging terrains. Each of these options has its strengths, and their impact on the Model Y's weight is proof of how Tesla is always fine-tuning the details to enhance the driving experience. Now think with me. If the M3P reduces the car's weight and also improves the range, could this be a decisive factor when choosing between one or the other? For many people, the idea of driving more without needing to stop to charge is a huge attraction. The car's lightness will also influence how it drives, making the Model Y more agile and perhaps even more comfortable to handle. All of this, without sacrificing performance, 
is a big win in the world of electric vehicles. On the other hand, the 4680 offers advantages that aren't immediately obvious, but make a big difference for those who pay attention to the details. The fact that it's a structural battery means it reinforces the car in a unique way. This brings a feeling of robustness, as if the car is ready to handle any road, any situation. And who doesn't want to feel safe while driving, right? Even though the weight impact isn't as significant as with the M3P, the 4680 offers other benefits that can be equally attractive. Another interesting point is how these changes in weight and structure also affect sustainability. A lighter car uses less energy, which means fewer indirect carbon emissions, especially if the energy used to charge the battery comes from renewable sources. So with the M3P, the Model Y Juniper not only goes farther, but does so in a more eco-friendly way. It's a smart move by Tesla, which is always looking for ways to align innovation with sustainability. Of course, all this weight reduction and improved range come with some challenges. Making a car lighter without compromising safety or stability is no simple task. But Tesla seems to be on the right track, balancing all these factors thoughtfully. With the M3P, they show that it's possible to improve efficiency without sacrificing the driving experience. And with the 4680, they prove that strength and durability are also priorities. So, the choice between the M3P and the 4680 in the Model Y Juniper will largely depend on what each person values more in an electric car. And there's more. The M3P not only charges faster, but also brings a feature that's becoming more and more popular. Vehicle to grid or V2G. This feature allows the car not only to receive energy, but also send it back to the power grid, which is quite interesting when you think about how this could balance energy consumption in cities. During peak hours, the car can provide power to your home or even to the neighborhood, helping reduce excessive electricity use. The 4680, on the other hand, doesn't yet support this function, which gives the M3P a step ahead in this regard. Now, if you stop to think about it, this V2G functionality is also a way to make electric cars even more eco-friendly. In addition to consuming less energy, thanks to the fast charging time, the M3P turns the car into a small mobile power plant. This opens up many possibilities for the future like using the energy stored in your car to reduce your electricity bill or help prevent blackouts on days with high consumption. The technology is evolving quickly, and with the M3P, it feels like we're getting closer and closer to seeing these benefits in our everyday lives. Of course, the 4680 has its strengths, but when it comes to charging, the M3P really stands out. The time difference between the two batteries might seem small to some, but if you think about how fast-paced our lives are today, every minute counts. And it's not just about time, it's about the convenience of being able to charge the car in less time than you spend at the supermarket, for example. This totally changes the experience of owning an electric car, making it even more practical for daily use. What's great is that by betting on the M3P, Tesla is showing that the future of electric cars goes far beyond just driving without using gasoline. The idea is to integrate the car into the grid, making it part of an intelligent energy consumption system. Who knows, in the future, we might not need to worry so much about the electricity bill anymore, as the car will help balance it out. It's a fascinating vision of how technology can change not just transportation, but also the way we use energy in general. Another point worth mentioning is that, even with faster charging times, the M3P doesn't sacrifice durability. We've already seen that it can withstand many charge cycles without losing efficiency, which means you don't need to worry as much about battery wear over time. That's a relief right? Because nobody wants to keep replacing batteries or watch their car's range decrease as time goes by. The M3P seems built to last, even with top-tier performance. Meanwhile, the 4680, 
although a bit slower to charge, still has incredible energy density. This means it can store more energy per kilogram, which is also an advantage. But in the end, for those who seek practicality and speed, the M3P really takes the lead. It's interesting to think about how these two batteries could coexist in the market, each catering to different types of drivers depending on their priorities. So, if your biggest concern is the time spent at the charging station, the M3P seems like the most logical choice. With the ability to charge 80% in just 15 minutes, it offers an experience that fits perfectly into modern life. While the 4680 still has a considerably good charging time, the M3P is clearly ahead when it comes to speed and efficiency. The M3P, with its lower cost, offers a very interesting proposition, especially for those entering the world of electric cars or looking for a more affordable option. If you stop to think about it, lower production costs may also mean that cars equipped with this battery can be sold at more attractive prices. And since Tesla is always looking for ways to lower the cost of its vehicles to reach more people, the M3P seems like a strategic choice for the brand's future. It's the kind of technology that brings a balance between price and performance. Now, the 4680, although more expensive, has its justifications. It's a super advanced battery with greater energy density, which means it can store more energy without needing to increase size. This is crucial for those who seek maximum performance. But of course, the price is a barrier for some consumers. Perhaps this is the battery for those who don't mind spending more, as long as they get the best in terms of technology and efficiency. And with Tesla, always focused on innovations, it's possible that these prices will drop in the future as large-scale production increases. If we think about it in terms of the market, the M3P has a great advantage due to its lower price. Tesla can keep its vehicle prices competitive while still offering good performance. This could attract a much larger customer base, especially in emerging markets where cost is a decisive factor. On the other hand, the 4680 could continue to be the premium option, meant for those who want the best in technology and are willing to pay a little more for it. And it's not just about the initial price, right? Efficiency and durability also factor into the equation. What's interesting is that, even though it's cheaper, the M3P doesn't compromise much on performance. It offers 15% more energy density than traditional LFP batteries, which is a significant improvement. And since Tesla is always optimizing its cars, it can make adjustments that make this battery even more efficient in daily use. The 4680, with its higher cost, offers even greater energy density, but the price ends up limiting its use in more affordable models. So, Tesla has this interesting balance between the two options. In the end, the big question here is, what does the consumer really want? For those looking for a more affordable option without sacrificing good performance, the M3P seems like the ideal path. It delivers what it promises at a cost that makes sense for most people. For those willing to pay more for cutting-edge technology, the 4680 is the choice. Both batteries have their strengths, and it's fascinating to see how Tesla is balancing these options to offer solutions for different types of drivers.